Today, we're delving into a highly anticipated topic, the potential features of the upcoming Garmin Fenix 8. Specifically, we'll discuss the display technology it might employ. Will it stick with the tried-and-true memory and pixel display, or is there any chance it will shift to AMOLED like its cousin, the Epix? Let's explore this, armed with insights from user discussions and technical perspectives. First, a bit about MIP technology. Known for its ultra-low power consumption and excellent readability even under intense sunlight, MIP displays are perfect for outdoor sports watches. The Phoenix series has famously employed this technology, favoring function and battery efficiency crucial for long, demanding outdoor activities. On the other hand, the Garmin Epix line uses AMOLED displays, offering vibrant colors and deeper contrasts. While visually appealing, AMOLED consumes more power, which can be a trade-off for users needing prolonged battery life during extensive outdoor use. Given this clear distinction, Garmin has effectively segmented its offerings to cater to different user preferences, MIP for endurance and functionality, and AMOLED for vibrant display quality. Community feedback and technical analyses suggest there is little incentive for Garmin to shift the Phoenix series from MIP to AMOLED. The Phoenix line's core users typically prioritize battery life and visibility in various lighting conditions over display color richness. Therefore, incorporating AMOLED into the Phoenix series might overlap too much with what the Epix already offers, diluting the distinct value each line brings to the market. If that were to happen, the company would be likely to merge the two lines. And if that happened, the Enduro might take the mantle as the option that maintains the MIP screen. So our expectation is that there will be a MIP model. The only question is whether it will be called Phoenix or Enduro. Moreover, Considering the robust community of Phoenix users, there is a strong preference for maintaining the MIP displays that have historically served them well. Any shift towards AMOLED in the Phoenix line would need to address not just aesthetic improvements, but also how it could possibly enhance the user's experience without compromising the watch's fundamental endurance capabilities. Of course, all of this is speculation. Garmin has not said anything yet about a forthcoming Phoenix 8, although it is widely expected to arrive in the latter part of this year or in early 2025. When it does arrive, the likelihood of the Phoenix 8 featuring an AMOLED display seems minimal. Stay tuned for updates and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more insights and discussions on the latest in wearable technology.